So reports in the media there today are confirming that Gemma O'Doherty was convicted yesterday in Bray District Court. She was convicted of threatening and abusive behaviour as well as refusing to give her name and address to Garda. She was also found guilty of resisting arrest. She her, had accused the Gardaí of being complicit in covering up paedophilia and complicit in the cover-up of murder. That's what Bray District Court heard yesterday. The incident arose in August 2020 and the judge handed down a two-month suspended sentence and a fine of €750 Euros for the public order offences which happened in August last year. Ms O'Doherty has already lodged an appeal against the conviction. The Gardaí gave evidence then that they were told that they were traitors to the Irish public and that they were complicit with cover-up of paedophilia and complicit in the cover-up of murder. Ms O'Doherty, according to the Gardaí, say or said that they would get the sack and that their pensions would be gone. He gave evidence, the Garda did, that the defendant, Miss O'Doherty, refused to give her name and address. He had moved to a restaurant and tried to walk her off the bridge in question at, I think it was Kilmacanogue in County Wicklow. Signs on the bridge were dealing with or making assertions about the coronavirus uh, and masks and uh, vaccines and so on. Garda Joseph Waldron gave evidence regarding arresting O'Doherty after attempting to take her name and address. The judge said that the words O'Doherty used towards Gardaí were, quote, atrocious and were said deliberately. She called them gangsters, thugs, said they covered up paedophilia, they were traitors and covered up murder. He said it was a clear and intentional breach of the peace. So as things stand, Gemma O'Doherty has been convicted of those three counts, uh, minor offences, district court, prosecution, and she has uh, lodged an appeal and uh, supporters were outside the court most of the day, apparently, according to media reports.